I'm enjoying a nice milkshake. In memory. Cheers to you, my friend. <sighs> Alright. Now. He does not get an easy way out. What I mean, what I mean by that is. Douglas does not just get to fucking die and leave me on this fucking bitch of an earth. I have immortalized him forever. And as you see, he's got his harness on. You know? Let's buckle his harness in. Yeah. He's ascended to his final form where he's got his milkshake. I got my milkshake, Douglas. Mmm. It's chocolate. Hey. Fuck you doing? We ain't churning the fucking day off. Always day. Bitch. By the way, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, uh J Justin. Nobody will understand that reference, but it's his friend that I have. And I made a meme out of him. And now I'm him. So. This is the memorial of Douglas. Now Douglas has an entire lore that I have not touched on at all in the other videos. He has several brothers. Douglas uh, lives in a universe in the these stories that me and my siblings have made. Well, they live in a society of gigantic birds. Gigantic as in like this this big there's like a last story that we made where he becomes like fucking huge bigger than earth this is cage too that way it'll always exist oh no fucking bullshit alright and I could play as Douglas as well yeah this bell this is food shit sponge thing where he fucking rubs his nose on yeah anyways what I want to talk about is the lore that over there that is the rival the arch rival of Douglas a character known as Raglas he was once a white bird like Douglas was but something happened to him so now he wears bloody rags on his face. And he has no beak. And that's the head of uh, Dumpless. See, Douglas has got all these brothers. He's got Donk, who'll be a fat bird. He got Dagless. He got uh, Doingless. And then Dumpless, which is the baby one. Alright, here it is. Douglas the Immortal. In his universe, in his beginning, year 1010. This is medieval times. He began the age of heroes. Back then he was raised by the world's most powerful bird. The birds. Carly, Tweet, Tweet, and Breezy, which are birds that we used to have. They were giant birds. Legends of his time. He watched as they passed onto the next life, teaching them. Teaching him everything that they knew. And it was until Douglas fought his first foe. A saber-toothed beast named Simba, which actually happened, but it wasn't a saber-toothed beast. It was a cat, and uh, who murdered his mentor, lover, Breezy, which did happen in real life. We did have a bird named Breezy, and it was fucking murdered by Simba. So Douglas had PTSD from watching Breezy be fucking killed. So that's fucked. After Douglas fought Simba to his death, Douglas became known as Douglas the Immortal. He would then raised his own society of birds since the last ones, you know, died. His brothers became his greatest allies. Donk, the fat bird that I m mentioned. Dagless, uh, Doingless, and Dumpless, who is also known as Youngless, because he's the youngest one. They all stayed by his side until one of his brothers betrayed him and murdered Dumpless while he was still in his egg with Youngless. Uh, Douglas had seen things from other worlds that he wouldn't share as years would pass. Douglas had learned the dark arts and became a dark sorcerer. Which in this universe, birds are gigantic. They're fucking huge. And humans are small. 
So if a bird becomes, uh, if a bird becomes a sorcerer, is big, is big bad, big bad shit. Unfortunately, Douglas had not learned of this knowledge until it was too late, and Douglas had opened a uh, Douglas had opened a vortex that would consume Earth. All seemed lost. It was then when Douglas met with Mama Goose Meyer, a character that uh, she is the queen of England in 1010 in the stories, and in the museum that I own, she uh, there's actually a they. They come together, right, and they form the retard table. Which the retard table is a museum, actually, in our mu in a museum that I have in my city. Which I'm waving my hand, so you can't fucking see me. So I don't know why I'm doing that. Thousands of warriors and heroes from everywhere came to stop the evil Douglas, but in the end, three people stopped him: Douglas, Sir Hanover Ram, and Sir Philip, who also was mentioned in the uh, in the museum. They sacrificed their lives to stop Douglas's former brother. And uh, Douglas survived. Douglas also survived, but he became severely scarred by Sir Hanover Ram and Philip's attack. And uh, Douglas would vanish as Douglas would restart his brotherhood and work with Mama Goose Meyer, the Queen of England in the, that universe and her retard table, which is like a group of people, with like hundreds of thousands of fucking people, even the table is a character, to stop future threats. Douglas fought many foes over the years, but Douglas would return not to seeing his broken reflection, his broken beak. Uh, Douglas would wear magic-infused bandages, covering his face, protecting it, and he would choose a new name. Deg, uh, Raglus. Raglus the Dark Sorcerer, and that's, that's where Raglus comes from. From then on, he would be Douglas's greatest rival, but foe after foe. Douglas was never defeated, nor killed, as he had searched for a mysterious shake, a milkshake, that he had been told that would make him truly immortal. He even fought gods to find it, until he one day became kidnapped by giants. He was all alone. The giants are about to eat him, and the mystical milkshake was just out of his reach, because that's where it was. It was owned by the giants. That's when his brotherhood came and freed him. Raglus returns and raised a sea god known as Cthulhu, because, you know, a bird's greatest rival would be in the ocean. So Cthulhu levels the planet almost nearly. Douglas then straps in his harness, a magic harness that he got from uh, his uh, brothers, I think. And he drank from the mystical milkshake through the harness, and it made him grew, grow so big that he grew larger than any bird ever known. And he fought the dark sea god Cthulhu. With now the power of immortality, he destroyed Cthulhu and nur nursed the planet back to health. But after achieving godhood, Douglas banished Raglus to the Void Dimension, which is a dimension where there's like nothingness, and flew into space, where he will soar for eternity, Douglas did. Love for Douglas. Rest peacefully, my friend. I'm going to miss you. So really, that's all I wanted to do. just wanted to read, tell you about Douglas lore. So yeah. He owns, in the stories, he owns his own island. He's like the president of a tropical island. If you're banging in the background, that's because our fucking screen door won't stop slamming against the other door. Because it's like cold as fuck out today. Winter and shit. Yeah. That's about all. This whole island is dedicated to him. And, uh, let's get a closer look here. Everything is exact to the cage, too. Even this little chain that this ladder to the handle to the fucking that would be sticking out sometimes. That's why I did it like that. It was a little thing that he would sit on. And I'd come up to, over to him and be like, hey, how you doing? You know?
That's this little sun thing that he had. It would be over that mirror. Yeah. This is Ragless Evil. And these are actually spawn things that, uh, they spawn different creatures because he's a sorcerer, you know? And he's got scars. He's got cuts all over him from being uh, attacked by the two knights. Yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Nah. But, you know, finally, finally he has his milkshake and his harness. Alright, fuck off.